Cancer, would you like to know your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions with you? If you do, stay tuned. We're jumping right in. Thank you for visiting. This is Irish Donna Terrell. My name is Donna Wilder Hart, and I hope everyone's doing well today. Let's get to this reading. Cancer, your person is very much in their thoughts feeling as though they have, they don't deserve you. That's what I'm getting. Your person feels as though right now that they've created a burden in your life that has made you walk away from them. I feel that though, as though there was some sort of action that they did in the past that something they said, that's Gemini energy, it's fast moving, it usually runs with scissors energy, something your person said to you was very painful. They feel as though they gave you no option other than to pack your bags and leave, so metaphorically speaking. The Eight of Swords says that they are restricting their contact with you currently, that they are having sleepless nights, they're worried, they have regrets, they have remorse. They would like to speak to you, and they would like to end this difficulty in terms of, you know, when they think about you, they would like for the worst to be over. In terms of their heart space, they want to get lucky with you. Their feeling is that timing is going to be everything, the wheel of fortune. They're waiting for the timing to turn in their favor. When they think of you, they feel as though they're very lucky to have met you that the day they met you was a time that created a lot of joy. It was the beginning of a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. You are their wish fulfillment. If they just want to eat, drink, be merry, and have a good time, you're the person that they feel fulfills that in a very satisfying way. They love you. They absolutely love you. This is a spiritual love. They feel in their heart space that you're beautiful, both spiritually in every single way. They feel very much in love with you, that their heart's content when they're with you. This is hopes and dreams of fulfillment coming true in love. That's what you are to them in their heart space. The Seven of Swords says that they have a Seven Swords stuck there from, it looks like something that this guy in the hoodie said to you, quote unquote guy, masculine, feminine, doesn't matter. But this person said something to you that was devastating to the relationship. And right now, they're hiding out. They're driving by your house at night if you live close. If not, they're trying to spy on you in other ways. This looks very much sort of like, you know, operations, right? Military operations. They're taking this very seriously. So when they, in their heart space, they are, they've wounded themselves. They've wounded you. In terms of their intentions, cancer, they see you as a person with whom they can be very passionate. They've never had anybody else who fulfilled this passionate relationship that they have with you. They've been, they want to be in control of this relationship. They feel that they have to be. There's something that might even be secretive about this relationship. The devil card is really toxic energy. We all know that. They're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with a passion with you. They are manifesting you back right now in their intentions. They want to talk to you, but they still want to be in control. We have this beautiful Ten of Coins energy. This is incredibly good energy for you. Given all of this that we see right here, this is a just absolutely a breath of fresh air. This person wants to communicate with you. Their intention is to communicate with you. Their intention is to have passion, to make love all night long, to go on vacations, to go on trips. Their intention is to manifest you back while they can still be in control of the relationship, but they want to develop that relationship into a long-term legacy relationship, long-term commitment. They see a future with you. They are very empowered by that vision of you. I feel as though given all this energy, you would never guess that that could be an intention that they have with you. It is thought to be a marriage card. We see people with children. We see the dog for loyalty. We see two people dressed in blue, very emotionally attuned to one another. There's happiness and joy. There's enlightenment in this relationship. It's a very lush, beautiful um, endowed relationship in terms of monetarily it's very rich 
The people are hard working though. This is Virgo energy. These are self-made people and they see you as self-made. They see themselves as self-made, but this is extended family. It's happiness, it's joy. Two people again working as a team. When we get the energy, we're gonna go, we will clarify this, um, but the energy of the devil still says that there's toxicity. I'm, I know I've said that three times. They are trying to manifest this back very secretly, very quietly. This is Gemini energy, Gemini, excuse me, Gemini Aquarius energy and Gemini energy. So this is Gemini and Virgo energy, and this is Virgo energy. So what they're trying to manifest with you today is very different than what they were trying to manifest before, okay? When we see the actions that they will take, it looks like right now, this nags at them every single day. This is sort of like, almost like your mother saying to you, clean up your room, you need to call your person. They hear this voice, it's just picking away at them every day, this eats at them, and every day they try to push this away. When we look at the Ace of Wands card, we see that this person has their eyes closed, but not really, because they're looking down but their eyes are not closed. This person fantasizes about you. This person thinks about you. They wake up in the morning. Uh, that's a an excitement. It's a wand. Think of what that could possibly mean. Use your imaginations, okay? <laughs> but the Two of Swords, this person knows that they really treated you badly. They know that you know that what they did to you was incredibly unkind they just don't know why you would ever speak to them again they feel very defensive other people are trying to get their attention but the outcome card is they're not accepting the attention of anybody else they're not accepting anybody else's wand they're not accepting anybody else's offer their action with you is two of cups making you their special person getting you into a relationship that's very harmonious, very happy, very joyful. Two of Cups is a bride and groom in the Rider Waite deck, saying their vows to each other, holding up their chalices of love, holding up the, the wine, the proverbial wine that is often part of a traditional uh, church wedding. And so their energy towards you is exquisite. A lot of swords, though, this person's all in their head. A lot of swords energy. They're not comfortable. They're not happy. They're not happy without you. They try to hide it, you know, with the magician card, but they are obsessed with you. So that's the, the thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions. So let's take a look and see what we have for the clarifiers. I love a good clarifier. You know, I'm from Chicago, and I would really love to hear where, where you are from, where you're located around the world as you watch the video. I'd also like to hear if you like the format because I will keep it up if you like it. I just decided to drop the you versus them simply because you know how you feel. That seems like a waste of time during the readings from what I can see. I don't need to tell you how you feel. You know that when you come to the reading. So just an opinion. No, no criticism of, you know, past performance based on you versus them on my part. Okay. So we have all these cards that just fell out, as you can see. So we're going to look at that. The Ten of Wands energy has a lot. They feel guilty. This is them feeling guilty, carrying a heavy burden. Virgo energy, they're thinking about this a lot. They're, look at this. Again, remorse, regret, doubled. Undecided as what to do about it. They might have felt that they were juggling a situation that was business-based, could have been, you know, some situation that they didn't want to tell you about secrets, secrets kept, a secret that they don't want you to know. I think with the King of Pentacles energy, this is really about, um, the King of Pentacles is usually the one who gets involved with the Ten of Pentacles marriage. The King of Pentacles energy is about what a person values, so they value you, you know. Their thoughts about you is that you are worth a lot, and they didn't honor that. They treated you, they, you know, they treated you badly. So that is the clarifier for their thoughts on that. Well, from the looks of it, they did. Why is two of coins here? What is this thing that they're juggling or trying to decide? They're trying to decide if you've had time to heal. They're trying to decide how badly they think they hurt you. 
They're trying to manifest you back. They're trying to figure out strategically when they think of you, like what would be the way to come in. They kind of almost want to sneak in. Yeah, well, you can't do that. They blew that opportunity. So, okay. So let's look and see why what this Knight of Swords was. The energy of the Knight of Swords is a runs with scissors. I've never seen it fail, at least in my personal experience. It's Gemini, and I'm a Gemini, is that somebody says something to me that I think is ugly, okay? So let's see what they're feeling about this thing that they said to you. The Nine of Cups. Hmm. Well, their communication with you, in terms of when they think of you, is to tell you, runs with scissors, to just tell you that they really miss you, that they want to have fun with you that they want to make love all night long. So I'm happy to see that. That's a good change. But it looks like they're going to be very bold. They're very freewheeling. They really do think they want to rush to tell you that they love you. There you are, Cancer. That's you. That's you in your reading. Here you are validating the reading. You hopped right in here. You just hopped right in. Look at Your person wants to make an offer. Well, that is the first time. I love that. That's a really great running towards you energy. It's not always that energy. So I really feel that in the past it probably wasn't, but it's changing now. Your person wants to rectify whatever they said in the past. They want to tell you how much you mean to them. They want to tell you how much they care about you, and they want to make a significant offer. The Eight of Swords says that right now when they think about you, they try to restrict their passion that rises up within them. This person wants to make love all night long. Oh, and they are without you. The Eight of Swords says that you have not contacted them, and they are paying close attention to that. They are taking the cue that you really don't want to talk to them. They definitely feel as though, you know, the friendship or whatever it is that you had. However, they viewed you as very good friends. Friends and lovers is how they saw you and how they still see you to a large degree. But the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords, why are they here? Six of Swords, they feel as though you've moved on. They feel as though you're very strong. You haven't reached out. You might have met them through work. They would like to. They may try to use work as an excuse to reach out to you. Your person's really grappling with, like, how do I handle this and not give myself away. They want to be cool hand Luke and return to you and tell you all of these things without really having to deal with things that they don't want to deal with. And you know what they are. Okay, the sun card. So it looks like this person is in a very happy mood whenever they think of you. Okay, so that's their thoughts. Let's look in the heart space. What's here for the feelings of your person, the wheel of fortune? Feeling really lucky to know you. Feeling as though they're at a crossroads. They know that they hurt you. They don't know if you've moved on or if you made a different choice, but in their heart space, they feel as though they stabbed themselves in the back by making the wrong choice, by allowing something or someone or some situation to come in between the two of you. Yep, competition. Now, the competition does look like we got the King of Pentacles card here. I can't see where it's at, though. King of Pentacles card. Where did it go? No, okay, so I can't, oh well, I'm going to leave it there. There's a King of Pentacles right there. So the King of Pentacles card, what I'm seeing, remember, when we looked at this, we got this swordsy energy here, and it's swordsy energy here. So it does look like there was a King of Pentacles that was coming in with some sort of business alternative that impacted your relationship. The uh, Nine of Cups, what is, tell us about the Nine of Cups and why that's in their heart space. Oh, they hid their emotions from you forever and ever. And now they're willing to release their emotions. The Pisces full moon is coming up in a few days. Okay. In fact, I think it's tomorrow. Yes, it is. Okay. So let's see here. Ace of Wands. Look at that Ace of Wands. I get Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands. Well, in their heart space, they feel they feel their wand. They feel their passion. They feel their enthusiasm, their excitement for you. They really are really feeling they're missing you. This person is missing you. The Seven of Swords. What is it that they're being dishonest about? That's a card of lying, stealing, cheating, covert operations, not being honest. 
Why is a tricky dick card in their heart space? Well, <laughs> they never admitted to you how you make them feel. You make them feel like they are the winner of the Academy Awards. You make them feel as though they want to go very public with you. Very, very public. That is also the card that says that they want to introduce you to everyone that they know. They want you to be in the middle of the spotlight. They want you to walk the red carpet with them. But they kept you a secret in the past. So there's that feeling that they have to win you back, that they certainly have to honor the dignity of this relationship, the beauty, the spirituality. Your person feels in their heart space that they're ready to do that. I think that they really lied to themselves about how they felt about you. They, you know, this is their heart space. That's them putting a sword or seven swords in their own heart. Okay? Now they want a victory. Why do we have the star card here for you? Why do we have the star card here? Why is this beautiful heart space card here? The eight of swords. This person does not feel, the truth be told, this person does not feel that you are, uh, that they are worthy of you. They have been in self-imposed limitation because we have the seven, the eight, now the, the eight, the nine of swords here. In this situation, self-imposed restriction because they put you on a pedestal. They actually feel very much that you're too good for them, that you are the bright and shining star. You are beautiful inside and beautiful outside, and that is the meaning. The star never comes out before the, the tower crashes, so your person has had an epiphany. They're in touch with who they really are at this point in a much more meaningful way. And Wheel of Fortune timing is going to decide when they reach out to you is what I'm seeing. Because the Ace of Wands twice here tells me that they will reach out, okay? The Six of Cups, they feel that you are their soulmate. They want to grow old with you. This is all about legacy, and this is somebody that you've known for a long time. You've known this person for probably at least six years. Could be older, you know, could be a longer relationship than that. You could have known them since childhood. You could have known them since grade school. But your person really wants this relationship with you. Why is the Eight of Wands here? They want to reconcile with you. They know that they have to open up their heart. They have to open up their willingness to be uh, cooperative. They have to be balanced with you. They want to be passionate. That's a lot of communication coming in. Why do we have the magician or the manifester here? They're studying the situation. This person, you know, Virgo energy is part of that. We have Gemini and Virgo energy, both ruled by Mercury. Mercury is soon to go retrograde. And so your person is, that's a likely time when this person could come back to you. Uh, Mercury retrograde is when people retrace their steps and find their love. Now, you know, oftentimes people don't want their person back, but since you're at the reading, I'll assume you do. The Ace of Swords energy. And if you don't, that's okay. You can say that in the comments. Let's see. Let's see. The Ace of Swords energy says that they have great clarity about how manipulative they've been, how, you know, how they've intended things that weren't so favorable for you. So I like it. So now we have that their true intentions are obsessed still with the idea of happily ever after. Pisces energy again, nine of cups, ten of cups. Beautiful. All right. So all we need now is an ace of coins. And we will have an engagement, but I'm not seeing it here yet. Okay. So Capricorn energy. Capricorn, Capricorn, okay? So your person has settled down. They are obsessed with the idea of having ha you as their happily ever after card, you know, or their happily ever after relationship. Sure, I'd like to take the card to bed with me. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> it's um, me trying to be efficient and quick in delivering a reading <laughs> and stumbling Ooh, okay, so your person really wants to nurture you. They want to be kind to you. They want to love you. They want to give you what you what you need. They want to receive the same from you. Okay, so the Seven of Wands says that they are not taking offers from any other person. There are people who are constantly picking at them to get their attention. Three of Swords, you're the one. You're the one. You're the only one. I like it. All right, the Ace of Wands. They've chosen you. Okay, actively chosen you. The Ace of Wands, why is it here? 
They're bored without you. Oh my God. And they don't know if you're going to take them back. They feel as though you may really reject them and for good reason. They can't get it out of their head what they did, nor should they get it out of their head. This is a person who, you know, really damaged you. Look at here you were, you were the pre empress energy. They see you as that. They see you as single and ready to mingle and highly desirable. What else is making them uncomfortable? Well, you might have just moved on. You absolutely might have moved on, and that is what they're thinking since you haven't contacted them. Yep, they see you as a fiery, beautiful, sexy, competent person who's not going to, you know, take any, any guff from anybody, certainly not devil energy. You're very powerful, and that's how they see you. The Queen of Wands is a very powerful energy. Very passionate, very sexy, but she does not suffer fools. Why is the two of cups here? There we go, star card. Hopes and dreams for love coming true. They, this is, I just don't even need to say anymore. This is really incredible energy. I'm hoping you like the reading, Cancer. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Please comment. Thank you.